Fighting out of the blue corner, Tina Sagueros makes her way to the ring. Well, we prepare for fight 15 on the card as far as the kickboxing is concerned here at Fight Expo. Day one, it is for the gold medal and we have two Australian girls in the ring. Well, we've got one in the ring at the moment and they're fighting out of the blue corner is Tina Soglins. And I've got to say, I've been very, very impressed with the Australian fighters, both in the MMA and in the kickboxing arenas here today. So we should be in for another good matchup. Tina's opponent today will be Jacinta Austin, that's her. Being prepared over in the red corner. Fight Expo. Number two for New Zealand last year was a one-day affair, a, a smaller, smaller show than we have this year. A lot more people on board. Jason Vorster has uh, done a great job and been told next year it will be held in Aussie. So it's going to be a bi-yearly thing here in New Zealand and in Australia. And I think it will just go from strength to strength. The class of fighting has been extremely high as we prepare to get underway in this gold medal match. Just waiting on some gloves for Jacinta Austin. The referee wants something done over there. We've got the judges are in place. So as soon as we get these gloves on, I'm sure we're in for something a little bit special here. Fighting for gold. Been a big straight stream of uh, visitors throughout the venue, right from when the door opened. And I'm sure numbers are going to be way, way up on last year. If you ever do get the opportunity to go either here or in Australia to Fight Expo, I urge you to get along. Okay, here we go. Referee calls fighters forward. Last move instructions have been given. Last minute check by the referee. We've had some uh, good refing throughout the day. Well, the wind don't need tape now, surely. Yep, we're ready to go. Here we go. Jacinta Austin in the red, and Tina Soglins in the in the blue and they take no time at all to introduce themselves to each other whoa close up fighting neither one wants to take a step backwards this is going to be interesting folks using both the legs and the hands oh no just a uh, malfunction there shouldn't take too long to get back into the action well they uh, both try and get some dominance in this fight right from the word go. Real, real fast start. Can they keep it up and for how long? That would be the question. Nice kick to the midriff there and uh, Soglin going for the knee as well. They're really trying to mix things up. Both of them, as I say, trying to take st centre stage. Ooh, I'm not sure. Yeah, pulls that... Uh, 
spinning back fist at Austin. And he goes that nice knee again from Soglins. That could play a part at the end of uh, three hard rounds. And, uh, a very good cut front kick there from Austin. And what have we got a halt here for? Is that an indication that might have been something low in that exchange? There's so much happening on and uh, when they get close to each other, it could have. Uh, he just wanted to make sure for safety reasons and uh, Austin says she's okay. He gets straight back into it. Nice kick to the midriff from her. And uh, plenty of leather flying here. I'm glad I'm not a judge, that's for sure. Just what's getting through will depend on where the judges are sitting. There's so much action. There goes that front kick. That can be a real good uh, weapon for you. Keep you on the outside of the opponent's attacks. And nice chopping low kick there. Oh, there she goes. She lands that spinning kick, uh, spinning fist. And yeah, they take a breath <laughs> finally. But there's been a, a lot, of, lot thrown here in round number one, and it could be a difficult one for the judges to judge as we do go back to the corners after the first of three. Let's hear what the corners have to say. This is Martinus from Dave, second on. Fergus Jenkins from Universal Gold Chamber. And that's when you made it out to today. So it was a step back to Push kick, push kick or front kick. Don't just lift that knee up. You lift that knee up and then she moves back so you do nothing with it. Go, commit to it. Okay? Keep your guard up though. Two hands up when you do the push kick. Okay? Don't leave one out. Seconds up. Seconds out. Good advice from both corners as we prepare to come out for round number two and a real arm wrestle in round number one. Seesaw and battle. A real head scratcher for the judges. Let's see if they can keep the pace up here in the second. And uh, Soglin's try to go forward. They both trade blows downstairs. So good work with the knees from Soglin in round, round number one. And uh, the teeth and kicks to the midriff were working for Austin, I thought. And it's pretty much the same as we saw in round number one so far. There goes the knee that I talked about, but it was a good left-hand reply from Austin. And there goes uh, the front kick again. Oh, and that's the kick that I was talking about. Thought that might have some effect if she can land a few of those. Sogren comes forward though. She's uh, looking to cut that ring off and keep the pressure on Austin. Another exchange. I uh, like the way that uh, Austin is ending the combos with that low kick, always getting the last say. And it could be, you know, when you get a close fight like that, it's just those little things that start to add up. And that front kick is working even better than I thought it would uh, uh, because she's got that distance now. Before, in round number one, it was more of a battle. There it goes again, that's perfect. And, um, yeah, it's just getting a little bit more um, distance between them, and it's, the timing is there for Austin in round number two. Nice left hand there from Soglin. She's still dangerous as she comes forward, probes her way forward with the left hand, and good kick to the midriff from her as well. 
as we come to the end of the second. I edge that one the way of the red corner. Let's see what the corners have to say. You should be doing to her. I'm, I'm yelling that at you. Fucking do. Come on. Big breath. Stop holding that. You've got to knock her out now, okay? You've got to get balls and all, everything. Now, okay? She's you're doing these spinning back fists. You're holding back. you just got to go do it. Let it fly. Let it fly. Go. Okay. All right, you got this. You need to be tired. Okay? Last round for the belt. For the belt. For revenge. <laughs> Do that again, and we go Time on, about to be called for round number three. This is where it all comes to. The uh, blue corner, not confident that they won the first round either. That was very close that I had. Um, Austin, definitely on my books, won the, the second. Definitely, I think that uh, Soglins definitely needs to have a good performance in here. But I don't think it's out of reach yet either. And wow, well, this has been a real good fight. A lot of action, a lot of skill coming into it as well. And there's no, there's only a couple of things. I think the the front kick has been. Uh, Brilliant from Austin, and it's not only been good scoring weapon for her, but it's uh, there he goes. That's the knee. That's um, I think was one of the strongest points that I've seen in Soglin. And with that front kick, she's just been able to get the distance uh, Austin has to stay on the outside, so she doesn't get into those exchanges as much as uh, she did in the first round. So uh, real good tactics. I think it's beautiful. Kick to the inside of the thigh there from Austin. Now they get into the, the grapple. You know, to give that one knee it was, a, it was a bit of a detrimental um, tactic for, for uh, Soglins. I think she'd like to turn it into a Muay Thai fight. Beautiful right hand from Austin. Got the attention there, definitely. Just keeping those combinations rolling a little bit more. Getting comfortable into a rhythm now. And she follows up every little uh, point. She follows it up with something else. Soglin trying really hard, but time's run out on her. And uh, I'm pretty confident that Jacinta Austin is going to take the belt home. That we always say on Combat TV, two good fighters. It takes two good fighters to make a good fight, and uh, you'd have to say that Tina Soglins played her part in that as well. It wasn't an easy fight for Austin. She uh, she was in a real battle early, and I think just the tactics, the the front kick. Getting a little bit of distance into into her uh, into the fight, give her more time, and uh, yeah, once she started picking the shots, I like the way she finished the combinations as well. Let's make it all official here for the gold medal, and it does go to Jacinta Austin. Well deserved win. She fought hard for it. And I'd love to see her come back to New Zealand, whether it be in two years' time uh, at this expo or whether it be as a professional sometime in the not too distant future. I'd just be happy to see her. I'd be happy to see both girls back right here again. Well done, girls. Well worthy of a gold medal match.